Shalom, everyone. I'm Rabbi Howard Wolf, the community chaplain with Jewish Family Service. I hope this finds all of you continuing to be able to deal with our uh, circumstances, uh, even as they're beginning to change. Uh, Jewish Family Service is uh, available to the entirety of the Jewish community. I want to remind you that our food pantry is open on Thursday. Uh, with great pride, I say that our Meals on Wheels program has not missed a day. We've continued throughout these past several months. If any of you would like to talk to me uh, privately, my direct office number is 469-206-1681. Or you can send me an email, rabbiwolk at jfsdallas.org. If anyone would like to talk to one of our clinicians or social workers, our phone number is 972-437-9950. So we've certainly entered uh, hot weather. Uh, congregations in town, uh, some are holding services indoors. Uh, some are still doing uh, Zoom services and, and meetings. Uh, this this is certainly a time in which we all have to be connected to our community, to our congregations, uh, to someone who's not affiliated with the congregation. Well, that's where my role as community chaplain uh, comes in. Uh, the rabbis in the Talmud say, uh, have an expression in which they state, uh, give me either society or death. Uh, meaning what? That we're all social beings and we really crave uh, the company of others. And that's certainly been one of the most difficult things we've all experienced uh, during these past several months. Uh, this Shabbat, uh, we read the portion of Bahalotcha. We're in the middle of the book of Numbers, and the portion begins with God giving a special command to Aaron the high priest that he and his fellow priests in the tabernacle in the desert, one of their tasks will be to light and maintain the menorah, the seven-branched candelabra that was really the centerpiece in the tabernacle in the desert and later the temple in Jerusalem, that on a daily basis they will clean out the menorah put in a fresh supply of pure olive oil and a wick and light it. And the menorah was burning 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the rabbis always note the juxtaposition between different sections in the Torah. The previous portion ended with a description of the dedication of the altar in the desert, a 12-day commemorative period each day, the prince of a different tribe brought an offering. And that offering, those offerings occupied 12 days. While this was going on, we're told that Aaron, the high priest, was a bit sad because he felt that his priests uh, were being excluded from this, uh, this commemorative uh, time. And God came to him and said, don't worry. Your job, your task is more important. The princes, they're there for the, if you will, the grand opening of the altar. They're going to bring their offerings, but after that, they will no longer have a direct connection with the tabernacle. You, Aaron, however, you and your fellow priests, your job will be on a daily basis, every day of the week, to maintain the menorah, which gave light to the tabernacle but symbolized the Torah and the Jewish people. And God says to Aaron, your job is more important than theirs. And I think herein lies a very powerful lesson that often we ascribe importance to that which gets a lot of hoopla, a lot of publicity, the grand opening of, uh, of something. It uh, gathers our attention and with good reason. But more important is the daily activities. When a couple is, is married, it's very often important to them to have a big wedding, a big celebration, 
And that is certainly important and has its place. But more important is the daily marriage, working at the marriage, the daily living, the daily tasks, the, the daily giving of one to another. Uh, a person who's successful at his or her job, a uh, part of it lies in their daily commitment to their activities, what we do on a daily basis. So God says to Aaron, don't worry. Your job is more important because on a daily basis, you're going to be committed to the kindling of the menorah. Parents who make a daily commitments to their children, children who make daily commitments to their uh, older parents, those are the things that really address themselves to the true nature of the, of the relationship. Uh, Jewish family service, we likewise make these daily tasks. We daily commit ourselves to our clients, to the Jewish community, and yes, to the greater Dallas community. And that's why we take pride in everything we do. We're here to benefit you, our community, and we look forward to your calling upon us. Shalom and be healthy. Thank you.